Hello guys, um, my name is Brian and today's video is going to be about jealousy and what I'm reading is different scriptures about jealousy to give us an idea about what the word, the word of God says about jealousy, not what Brian says, but I'm reading scriptures about what jealousy is saying throughout the Bible. And let's get into it. And I hope you're having a great day today. Proverbs chapter 27, 4. Proverbs chapter 27, 4. <clears throat> and it says, Wrath is cruel. Anger overwhelming. I mean, I'm sorry. Anger is overwhelming. But who can stand before jealousy all right i'll read it again proverbs chapter 27 verse 4 proverbs chapter 27 verse 4 and it says wrath is cruel anger is overwhelming but who can stand before jealousy first corinthians chapter 3 verse 3 first corinthians chapter 3 verse 3 and it says for you are still of the flesh for while there is jealousy and stra strife among you are you not of the flesh and behaving only in a human way now read it again first corinthians chapter 3 verse 3 and it says for you are still of the flesh for a while there is jealousy and strife among you are you not of the flesh and behaving only in a human way next one is Exodus chapter 20 verse 17 Exodus chapter 20 verse 17 and it says you still not covet I mean I'm sorry you should not covet your neighbor's house you should not covet your neighbor's wife or his male servant or his female servant or his ox or his donkey or anything that is your neighbors i read it again exodus chapter 20 verse 17 and it says you should not covet your neighbor's house you should not covet your neighbor's wife or his male servant or his female servant or his ox or his donkey or anything that is your neighbor's the next one is galatians chapter 5 um, verse 7 um, verse 19 through 21 um <clears throat> Galatians chapter 5 verse 19 through 21 and it says now the works of the flesh 
are Evelyn Eve Eve Evanet Evanet Sexual Immorality in, in privity, uh, since, since, hey, back. I'm getting tongue tied on this word. Uh, since secure, sin, censor. Can you come here for a sec? I got I'm tongue tied on this word. This word right here. This one. Yeah. Sex. Sensuality. I got tongue tied on that word. Sensuality. Idolality. So. So, sorcery, immorality, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, robberies, desensation, uh, divisions, Envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. And that was Galatians chapter 5 verse 19 through 21. The next one is <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 14 verse 13. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 30. A transquent Transcrensual, I'm oh no, gonna say that word. Transcrensual heart gives life to the flesh, but envy makes the bones not. Read it again. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 30. A tranquil, tranquil heart gives life to the flesh, but envy makes the bones not james chapter 3 verse 16 james chapter 3 verse 16 and it says for where jealousy and selfish about of and in ambition Exalt exists, there will be disorder in every veil, veil practice. I'll read it again. James chapter 3, verse 16. And it says, For where jealousy and selfish, selfish ambition exists, there will be disorder in every veil, veil practice. James chapter 3, verse 14 through 16. James chapter 3, four, verse 14 through 16. And it says, But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition, in your hearts do not boast and be false to the truth this is not the wisdom that comes down 
from above, which is saying does not come from heaven, but is earthly, unspiritual, demonic, where jealousy and selfish, selfish ambition exists, there will be disorder in every vel, vel practice. James chapter 3, verse 14 through 16. James chapter 3, verse 14 through 16. And it says, But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. This is not the wisdom that comes down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, demonic, of, I mean, um, demonic for where jealousy and selfish ambition exists, there will be disorder in every vile practice. The next one is Psalms of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 6. Songs of Solomon, Solomon, eight, ver, chapter 8, verse 6. And it says, Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon upon your arms for love is strong as death jealousy is jealousy is uh, fritz as the grave it's flashes as our flashes of fire, the very flame of the Lord. Hmm. So, uh, Song of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 6. Set me as a seal upon your heart. As a seal, as a seal upon your arm, for love is strong as death. Jealousy is fierce as the grave. It flashes, our flashes of fire. The very flame of the Lord. The next one, First Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse four through five. First Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse four through five. And it says, Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not a a road a rogent a a road a rogent or rule rude ignorant or rude it does not insist on its own way is not accessible for resentful hmm. <clears throat> first corinthians chapter 13 verse 4 through 5 love is patient and kind love does not envy or boast it is not ignorant 
or root. It does not assist on its own way. It is not accessible or resentful. The next one is Acts chapter 7 verse 9. Acts chapter 7 verse 9 and it says and the passages the passages jealousy of jo uh, Joseph solid him solid him into Egypt but God was with him Acts chapter 7 verse 9 and uh, let's see and the passages jealousy of Joseph solid solid him into Egypt but God was with him the next one is Romans chapter 13 verse 13 Romans chapter 13 verse 13 and it says let us walk pro um, properly as in the daytime and not hold on wait 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 Let me read it again this is romans chapter 13 verse 13 and it says let us walk properly as in the daytime not in orgies and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and sensory, sorcery, not in quill, 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 I'm not saying right, right, and jealousy. I'll read it again. Romans chapter 13, verse 13. Let us walk properly as in the daytime, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and sex sensorality, uh, sorcery, sensor, sensorality, not in quill. Crillery and jealousy. All right, next one is Proverbs chapter 6, verse 34. Proverbs chapter 6, 34, and it says, For jealousy makes a man furious, and he will not spare when he takes revenge i read it again proverbs chapter 6 verse 34 for jealousy makes a man furious and he will not spare when he takes revenge the next one is 1st Corinthians chapter 13 verse 4. 1st Corinthians chapter 13 verse 4 and it says, Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not ignorant. I'll read it again. 1st Corinthians chapter 13 verse 4. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not ignorant. Job chapter 5 verse 2. Job chapter 5 verse 2 and it says, Surely 
vex vexation kills the fool and jealousy slays the simple now read it again job chapter 5 verse 2 job chapter 5 verse 2 it says surely vex vexation kills the fool and jealousy slays the simple all right next one is romans chapter 12 verse 2 romans chapter 12 verse 2 and it says do not be conformed to this world do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of god what is good and acceptable and perfect acceptable and perfect <laughs> read it again romans chapter 12 verse 2 and it says do not be conformed by conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of god what is good and acceptable and perfect the next one is second corinthians chapter 12 20. second corinthians chapter 12 20 and it says for i fear that perhaps when i come i may find you not as i wish and that you may find me not as you wish that perhaps there there may be quarreling quarreling jealousy anger hostile 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 slander gossip con conceit conceit con 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 i'm not say this word con see consist consist consistent consistent and disorder all right let's read it again second corinthians chapter 12 verse 20 and it says for i fear that perhaps when i come i may find you not as i wish and that you may find me not as you wish that perhaps there may be quivering quivering jealousy anger hostility slander gossip consent 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 i don't say the word and disorder the next one is genesis chapter 37 verse 11. genesis chapter 37 verse 11 and it says and his brothers were jealous of him but his father kept the same in mind i read it again genesis chapter 37 verse 11 and it says and his brothers were jealous of him but his father kept the same in his mind second corinthians chapter 11 verse 2 second corinthians chapter 11 verse 2 and it says for i feel 
a divine jealousy for you since I uh, bro brethren brethren bothering you to one husband oh wait that that bro the that the uh, hey bay bay oh she can't hear me uh how you say this word How you say this word? This word right here. Betrothed. Yeah, I like the tongue. Betrothed. Betrothed. Okay. Betrothed. Okay. Let's read it again. Second Corinthians chapter eleven, verse two. For I feel a divine jealousy for you, since I betrothed you to one husband to present you as a pure virgin to Christ. Second Corinthians, read it again. Second Corinthians chapter 11 verse 2. Thank you. Okay. For I feel a divine jealousy for you since I bothered, bothered you to one husband to present you as a pure virgin to Christ. All right, this, is, this one, the next one is Proverbs chapter 19, verse 5. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 5 and it says a false witness will not go unpunished and he who br uh, breathes out lies will not escape. I read again Proverbs chapter 19 verse 5 a false witness will not go unpunished and he who breathes out lies will not escape all right the next one all right we're gonna stop right there because it's like it's so so many amazing scriptures to go through about jealousy and i don't want to like burn my eyesight out i want to keep reading but i don't want to burn my eyesight out and because last time i burned my eyesight out while i was in college um my eyesight just went blurry for a long long time and don't want to do that stress my eyes out but glory be to god that um these scriptures can help us because god wants to stay away from jealousy bitterness and all these different things because he knows how it can affect our mind and how we view each other and if we have um, struggles in that area and it's okay but if we I mean we get get help with it with God we recognize that we have a problem problem in that area just because we have a problem in different areas um that um we end up putting our hands on and into and putting it into practice doesn't mean that you you can't make it right back with god yeah we made those mistakes but it's up to us to, re to release those things and give it to to god give it to jesus put it at the foot of the cross of if we struggling with jealousy envy you know what i mean all the different things that, and strongholds and god got us and 
this definitely is encouraging because Ritual Mason to allow jealousy to spread like a wildfire because we know that it's affecting our homes, it's affecting our work, it's affecting schools, it's affecting um, the government. And what happened? Jealousy creates disorder. And we can try to hide it forever and ever. But so much that we can hide up under the rug and something is going to peak. It's going to show. And be revealed. And instead of waiting to be end up being revealed and so much being powered up, our anger being powered up, that we stop it right then and there. So that way we won't be in a situation where we don't need to be. Because anger and jealousy, s selfishness, could put us in a in situation that we don't need to be. And we're too amazing to be Wasting our time on what jealousy is about to bring, what selfishness is about to bring in that situation, what um, jealousy is about to bring in the situation. We're too amazing to waste our time on that. Because when the enemy can get our focus off of what God has for us, and we end up feeling like God is not working. But what is our focus on? What is our focus on these days to not allow the enemy to get us off focus? To get us going this way when we should have been going this way. Going straight ahead. The narrow road, not the broader road. And God has so many amazing things that he wants us to see. But what does our eyes focus on? When we have, say for example, you know what I mean? We got this one eye, like all for Jesus. This one eye. But we got this eye focus on, ooh, what, what is this world? Yeah, this person right there talking about me. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I don't want to deal with that person. I don't want to go to church no more. I don't want to do this and do that. This eye just constantly being busy. Constantly being busy. But, but we still trying to have this eye all on Jesus. But we got all this focused on so much other things. This other eye. Same thing with our ears. Got our ear all, all for God. But what is our, our other ear listening to? What is our focus on? What is our view on? And it goes for me. I'm preaching to myself. You know what I mean? I'm preaching to myself. I'm not excusing myself out of this not one bit. I'm in this too. And still growing as a teacher, as a child of God, as a husband, as a friend, as a son. And, you know what I mean? I'm still growing. And we grow together because, you know what I mean? We're stronger together as a unit. We're stronger together as a unit. But we got to stop. Being half and half. Because what it what is our ears on? What is our eye on? And I hope this encourages you as it encouraged me. I love you. God loves you. And let's go into prayer. Heavenly Father, just thank you for today, Lord, as we learn more into your word about jealousy. Lord, help us to fight against jealousy when it's trying to enter in our home. Just how with um, sin knocked at the door with Cain and 
knowing that we have a choice to receive or not to receive. We have the power to to not receive it. And we can fight against it with you and not by ourselves. To say no to jealousy, to say no to selfishness, to say no to the anger, to say no to the enemy. Then we say yes to the strength. They say yes to the peace. They we say yes to the comfort. They we say yes to the guidance. They we say yes to the counseling. And we say yes to the eternal life. And we say yes that we want Jesus in our life. And we say yes that we want God to take control. And we thank you for what you're doing in our life as we are willing to be transformed each and every day. Day as we meditate, medicate this word day and night of this this foundation of our mind to stay focused on you the best way we can in this sinful world. And we love you, God. Love you, Jesus. Love you, Holy Spirit. Love you, elders. We love all of y'all. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Keep praying. Keep the faith. Keep holding on to his promises. He got us. Shine your light so I can understand. Open my eyes.